Hello and welcome to Azariah's studio. My name is Sarah. I am the artist and designer behind Azariah's studio. I'm going to show you how to do the front post and then the back post double crochets. Post stitches are used to create texture and ribbing in, your, in crocheting. And they can also be used to make cables. I'm going to work the post stitches in a different color than what I began the swatch with so that it is easier for you to see. Right now I am working just a regular single crochet. Front post is worked on the front side, back post is worked on the back side. This has nothing to do with right side or wrong side. <coughs> it is solely about front or back not right or wrong. For a double crochet, we're going to start with the front post. For a front post double crochet, you yarn over, starting from the front into the back, and then to the front, around that stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Don't make him real tall, just normal double crochet. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. Going to single in the next two stitches. The reason I'm working single crochets on the regular part of the row is because the post stitch ends up being shorter. If I worked a double crochet, I'll pull this guy out. A regular double crochet and then a front well then a post stitch is going to be inconsistent in height and it's going to affect the gauge of the fabric and pull on things in weird ways you can you can see it's already pulling this one closer to it and if you continue to do that, it would affect the entire fabric. So rule of thumb, if you're working front or back, if you're working double crochet post stitches, then you're going to work single crochets on your base row. If you're working treble crochet post stitches, then you're going to work double crochets on your base row. The pattern will give you what they want you to do. But if you are making it up as you go or purposely making your own design, that's usually the rule of thumb. All right, so here's that front post again. And that's what those guys look like. I usually end up doing treble post stitches because they give a lot more definition. The treble post stitches and I think even some double treble post stitches were used in my color drip set. Okay, I'm going to pull these out now and I'm going to show you how to do the back post. So the back post feels a little bit weirder and yarn over. This time we're going to go behind the work, come up, and then back to the back. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. All right. You skip this stitch. You did in the front post too, it just it wasn't as obvious because it was on the back. I'll show you that in just a second. You can see the free loops of this stitch here on the front. If you work in that stitch when you're not supposed to, you're going to have extra stitches. So if you get to the end of your row and you count and you have an extra stitch, check that. If you're missing a stitch, go back and check because sometimes the post stitch gets so big 
that it crowds out the one next to it and you end up skipping two. All right, back post double crochet again. Yarn over from the back to the front, back to the back. Yarn over, pull it up, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. There's those free loops. Now, do a front post and show you those free loops. So this is the front side right now. I'm going to turn this guy over and there's the free loops on that. If you're going to work a treble, if you're going to work a treble post stitch, you're just going to yarn over twice and then work your post stitch. If it's a double treble, you yarn over again. That's just the only difference. You still dive in, come back out on that same first part then finish your stitch no matter how tall it is. That's going to make a little bump. I'm go ahead and do a, a double crochet here. So post stitches are worked around the post of the stitch indicated. You can go down even more rows if the pattern's telling you to. Just experiment with it. Try different things. Here's what a treble looks like from the back. It will slow you down a bit, but it gives some nice texture. It makes really good ribbing. You just alternate front, back, front, back, front, back for a few rounds. Or rows, whichever you're working in. And that is how you work the front post and the back post stitches. Thank you for watching. Happy making.